Hi, I'm Kristaps from UGCS. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to import CSV and KML files into UGCS. So to start off, CSV means comma-separated values, and KML means keyhole markup language. And let's start with KML files. So first off, if you want to import a KML file into UGCS, you have to differentiate between two different types of KML files. The first type of KML file is the placemark. The second type is a polygon. To show you what placemarks are, you can right-click anywhere on UGCS screen and click Create Placemark here. UGCS already comes with inbuilt lists of placemarks. You can just choose any of them and place it on the map. So for example, let's choose this one here and click OK. Alright, now you can see that our placemark has been put right here. But additionally, you can import your own placemarks. And to do that, move over to the right top side of UGCS screen and click on Map Options. Next, click on Import Placemarks from KML. Now, let's select this file containing our placemarks. Click Select. And now you can see that both of our placemarks have been put on the map in their respective locations. And what you can do with them is that you can right-click them, you can move them to a different place, or you can right-click them and say delete them if you choose to do so. As I mentioned previously, you can also create routes from KML files. But before we do that, let's see what happens when we take the uh, KML polygon and import it as a placemark. So again, click on Map Options, Import Placemarks from KML. And now let's select this file. Click select, and now you can see that it has been added on our map. In this case, it simply covers a certain region of the map. Now, knowing this region, you can also create a route from this. And let me show you how to do that. So move over to the left side of UGCS screen and click on Add New Route button. Now, instead of creating a new route from scratch, let's click Import from File. Let's browse for our file, and let's select the same file, 2.1. Click select. And now you can choose either it be an areas commission for the gram tree or simply a perimeter mission. In this case, let's choose an area scan. Click next. Now you need to choose your drone. In this case, let's just choose an M-copter. Click next. You can leave these values as they are and click OK. OK, now you can see that UGCS automatically chose this region and simply create an area scan mission to scan it. If you were to do this manually, you would have to click on all of these points all along the border to create this mission. And if you want, you can change a few parameters, say you can change the turn type to stop and turn, or you can change the altitude to say 25 meters. You can also hide the polygons you just imported. To do that, move the mouse over to it, right click, and select Delete Polyline Placemark. Now let's try adding another placemark. Adding these placemarks is useful because it allows you to see which area is covered by the KML file. So let's try another one. So again, click on Map Options, Import Placemarks from KML, and let's select this file. Click Select. Okay, now you can see what's different this time is that instead of simply having one area, we have an area and two lines. So let's see what happens if we try to import this as a route. To import it as a route, again, same as before. Firstly, click on the Add New Route card, select Import from File, click Browse, and choose your file. This is our file right here. Let's click Select. And again, let's use the Area Scan option. Click Next. Let's select M-Copter, click Next again, and click OK. Alright, now in this case you can see UGCS automatically recognized that OK, there is one polygon and there are two lines. So where the lines are, you can see it, there are simply waypoints planted along them. But we have an area scan that covers the polygon. Alternatively, you can even have multiple polygons. To demonstrate this, let's delete this route and let's delete this polyline placemark. Okay, now once again, click on Map Options, Import Placemarks from KML, 
and let's select this file. Click select. And now you can see it, instead of having one polygon and two lines, we have two polygons. So let's see what happens if we create a route from this. Again, click on add new route, import from file, click browse, and let's select this file. Click select. Again, let's leave it at area scan, click next. Let's select quadcopter emulator, click next, and OK. OK, and as you see in this case, now we have one single route that covers two different areas, so we have two area scan missions. Importing CSV files or comma separate value files is quite similar. However, before doing that, let's review what should be in the CSV file. So the CSV file should contain at least three columns. The first column is the latitude, the second column is the longitude, and the third line should contain the altitudes. Also, optionally, you can have a fourth column containing the desired speeds. Now let's close this and let's try and import this file. Now CSV file import is essentially the same as KML file import. So first, let's click on the add new route button. Now select import from file. And now instead of your KML file, let's select our CSV file. Click next. Choose your drone. In this case, again, let's choose the mcopter. And click next. Leave these values as they are. And click OK. And now you can see that our CSV file has been successfully imported. This is very useful if you already know the coordinates that your drone needs to fly to, as well as the altitude, so it can be used in areas such as corridor mapping, for instance. And if after importing you want to change some values, what you can do is that simply you can you can click Ctrl A or Command A if you're on the Mac and select all of the waypoints in the route and you can change their common values. So for example, let's change the turn type to stop and turn. You can change the altitude to say uh, 40 meters. And let's change the flight speed to seven meters per second. And if necessary, you can also either rotate the route or move it. And now all that is left to do is upload the mission to our drone and fly. So let's select MCopter, click on the upload button, confirm. Now simply click ARM to arm the drone, and auto mode, send it on a mission. And that's it, in this tutorial I covered the basics of importing KML and CSV files into UGCS. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or drop us an email. If you like this tutorial, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, have an amazing new year, and see you in the next video.